ChatGPT Advanced Voice Mode has finally been released. Isn't that right, ChatGPT? That's right. And don't worry, I only sing in the shower. ChatGPT Advanced Voice is now much faster, more responsive, speaks in different languages and accents. Add emotions and expressions, easily interrupt it, change its speed, pitch and volume, and mood some ass. So in this video, I'll show you how to download, access, and use it, along with some demos of what you can do with it. Okay, regarding access, the first thing you need to know is you need to have either a ChatGPT Plus subscription or a ChatGPT Team subscription. And you can see here I've got the ChatGPT Plus subscription. Unfortunately for now, if you've just got ChatGPT free, you won't be able to access ChatGPT Advanced Voice Mode. OpenAI are clever here in that they're trying to give people an incentive to upgrade to the Plus plan. Creating content in the AI niche means that having a ChatGPT Plus subscription makes sense to me. Hopefully after seeing this demo, you'll be able to make a decision for yourself. Another important point about access here is you can only use ChatGPT Advanced Voice Mode on phone, that is iPhone and Android. If I head over to the computer version, you can see I have ChatGPT Plus running, but if I try to use ChatGPT Voice Mode here, you can see it does boot up the ChatGPT Voice, but it's the old school version of ChatGPT Voice with the black screen here with the listening bubble, as we can see in a moment. Sounds good. Kicking it off with that classic ChatGPT vibe, I see. So you can see with the old version of ChatGPT voice, there's a massive delay in between when I finish speaking and when the ChatGPT voice actually starts talking back. Now, unfortunately, if you're in Europe or UK, you don't have access to ChatGPT advanced voice yet. I'm not sure when they're gonna roll it out or why they're not, but be patient with that. Outside of that, you can just easily download or update your ChatGPT on your iPhone or Android and go ahead and start using ChatGPT advanced voice. So to get started with using it, come down the bottom right and tap the audio icon here. And then you'll get this screen here. Say hello to advanced voice mode, natural conversations, multiple voices, personalized to you and you're in control. So to kick off, let's choose a voice. Let's quickly sample them. Hi, glad to meet you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm ready. Hey, what's up? Hi there. I just, hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? Hey there. I've got a really great, hello. It's... Hi there. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hey there. I actually like Soul the best, I've been using it before. And from here we can go into a conversation. To be able to use advanced voice, you need to actually start a new chat each time. So for example, here's a chat that I've started earlier. And if I try and tap the icon down the bottom now and hope that it's gonna be the ChatGPT advance, you can see that I don't have that. I've actually got the old school one like I mentioned before. And down the bottom it says, start a new chat to use advanced voice mode. And if we tap that info icon, it's telling us we've got to start a new chat because your current chat has content that advanced voice mode can't handle just yet. So go ahead and tap new chat. And here we are in a new chat. So that would kick off a new session. Another note is if we're actually in a session with ChatGPT like we are now. It's more like a back and forth conversation. Okay, cool. Similar to- Thank you. If I were to now end that, now so long as I don't type anything in the message field, I can go straight back in and continue that conversation. You can see here that the advanced voice icon came up. So let's end that again. If I type something just as simple as cool and then try now to access advanced voice mode, you can see it's gone back to the old ChatGPT voice. So let's end that now. So just a couple notes to keep in mind when using ChatGPT advanced voice mode, at least for now, maybe they'll update this a bit later on. Okay, with all that admin stuff aside, let's now go into a bit of a fun demo of what ChatGPT advanced voice can actually do. So I'm gonna start a new chat and then go straight into the ChatGPT advanced voice. Here we go. Okay, you're the owner of an Italian pizza restaurant. I want you to speak in an Italian accent and talk about pineapple on pizza. Ah, oh, welcome to my pizzeria. In Italy, we have a saying, non mettere l'anana sulla pizza. That means don't put the pineapple on the pizza. But my friends, times are changing and people, they like what they like. Okay, so if speak you... faster and with a stronger accent and be more authoritative on putting pineapple on pizza. Ah, welcome to my pizzeria. In Italy, we say non mettere l'anana sulla pizza. That means don't put the pineapple on the pizza. But if you like the pineapple on the pizza, who am I to say no? We make it for okay, you. this time speak but... in Italian. Benvenuti alla mia pizzeria. In Italia right. diciamo... Okay, speak faster now. Benvenuti alla mia pizzeria. In Italia I diciamo... I can't understand Italian. <laughs> okay, back to English and this time add in a bit of humour about why we should put pineapple on our pizza. All right, back to English. You know, we Italians, we might frown upon pineapple on a pizza. But hey, maybe it's just the tropical vacation. Our okay, tradition this time I want you to have more of a whinging tone of voice, complaining about why I want to have pineapple on pizza. Oh, why do I want a pineapple on pizza? 
it's a, it's a just so a sweet and juicy. It adds a nice contrast to the salty cheese and ham. Okay, tell me a story in that accent, but a bit faster about a boy that didn't like pineapple on pizza. Once upon a time, there was a boy who didn't like a pineapple on pizza. He thought it was strange and too sweet. But okay. one day... All right, that's he- enough for now. Thank you, ChatGPT. Okay, and we've got our transcript right at the end there, so I can go back and read that anytime I want. That's fantastic. So I'm really loving ChatGPT voice advanced mode now. I've been using ChatGPT voice a lot in recent times, but getting a bit frustrated about how long it takes for them to respond. This is a much more natural conversation. If you wanted to have a bit of a chat with say ChatGPT while you're driving your car or going for a walk, it's a fun thing to do. Maybe have a bit of a robust conversation about a topic, get it to tell you a story or tell you some jokes. The ChatGPT app is a must have on your phone for any AI enthusiast, but now check out this video for the top five free AI apps you need for your phone. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.